Hello and welcome to another tutorial by the Blender Animations. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a texture to an object. Now if we want this metal texture here to be applied to this cube, um, that's what this tutorial is going to show you. Now firstly, the, I'm going to show that there are differences between the default cube and a uh, new added cube. Um, the default cube already has the material linked to the object and already has a texture applied to it um, but the texture type is just set to none whereas a new cube that you add it doesn't have an object and it can't have a material uh, texture if it doesn't have an object um, so I'll use the new cube just to show you the steps you'd need to go through if you've added a new object um, so you have to click add new the materials and this is where you're able to add colors and mirrors and set the transparency and everything and then you click over to textures here and then you click add new and this has added a new texture now this is the stage that the default cube was at um, so it's not that hard to get to where the default cube was this is just to clear up any confusion that could have been there if you add a new object um, now you're going to change your texture type to an image and then there's new um, two new bars appear and you want to select load and that will um, give you the option to load an image now I have this image saved on the desktop as metal so that's it there and then your texture appears here now once you've applied your texture you're able to set repeats so um, it can repeat on the X and Y axis so rather than that one picture being stretched over the whole face you can put um, a two repeat on each axis so that you'll see that picture um, four times on that face um, now if you go back to the sphere um, and go over to this texture panel when you click map input um, you want to select cube because this um, chooses like this decides where the um, texture is actually applied to so for cube is going to be applied to each of the six faces um, for say sphere it's going to be stretched over into the shape of a sphere now if you have a look at this in the render you can see that your metal texture is applied now if we just move this light over, turn ray transparency off, just so that you can see the object, you can see that it has the metal texture applied to it. So you're able to add textures to almost any type of object. Um, you might need to convert it to a mesh first if you're using a curve, because um, I'm not sure whether you're able to add textures to curves or not. Um, but yeah, this is really useful if you're, say, trying to make a house and you want it to have a tile roof, you can just add a picture of tiles to the roof rather than actually making tiles for it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment or send me a message. Um, thank you. Have a good day.